You know what? That was a pretty cool trip to the glacier. Cool? I heard it was freezing! Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun, but I'm still kind of cold. Why don't you guys warm up before we start the video? A few minutes later. Wow, that was quick. You guys feel better? A lot better. I feel warm now. Good. I'm okay, but um, my feet are still cold. I think I need an extra pair of socks. Oh, I can help you with that. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, where did this come from? Uh, better you don't ask. Let's just start the video. A glacier is a massive body of ice and snow. Glaciers form over many years as snow and ice build up quicker than it is removed. And every single winter, more snow is added to that glacier. And the weight of this snow creates pressure, which turns the snow that is underneath into layers of ice. And this happens for many years, and the glacier starts growing larger and larger and larger. It becomes so heavy that the ice begins to move very slowly downwards like water due to gravity. In fact, a glacier only moves about 160 feet every single year. Then, new snow replaces the parts that float away. The actual word glacier comes from the Latin word glacies, which means ice. Glaciers are very important and have a large effect on our environment because when they move, they erode mountains as well as land. Most glaciers can be found near the North or South Poles, but glaciers also exist high up in mountains like the Himalayas and the Andes. But glaciers can only form in places that are cold enough and get enough snow over long periods of time. That's right, Cadence. In fact, glaciers can be found in mountain ranges on every continent except Australia. There are two different kinds of glaciers, continental glaciers and alpine glaciers. Alpine glaciers are also called mountain glaciers. Alpine glaciers form on mountain sides and move downward through valleys, and they are smaller than continental glaciers, which we'll learn about in a moment. Alpine glaciers move until they enter a point where the temperature is warm, and then the ice melts during the nice, warm, hot summer weather. Continental glaciers are glaciers that spread out over a large area of land. Some continental glaciers can still be found in Greenland and Antarctica. And hey, guess what? Many glaciers were created during the last ice age, where these glaciers covered 32% of our planet Earth. Now, glaciers cover about 10% of the Earth's surface, which is still over 5.8 million square miles. That's still pretty big! Mm hmm Good job! Have you ever gotten really thirsty and wanted a cold glass of water? Well, glaciers are where 75% of all of Earth's fresh water comes from. Scientists believe that if all the glaciers melted, our oceans would rise by 230 feet. In a way, that sounds cool, but that's actually terrifying. Yeah. Like, that's a lot of water. Most of the country of Greenland is covered with an enormous ice cap that is almost two miles thick in some areas. Wow. There are also smaller glaciers in the Rocky Mountains of North America, as well as in the European Alps, the Andes of South America, and even at some mountainous points along the equator. We've talked about how there's ice on a glacier, 
Well, that ice is called glacial ice. Glacial ice can be hundreds of thousands of years old, which makes it an important resource for estimating changes in climate. That's right again, Cadence, and by extracting and then examining the ice, scientists can study what the climate was like on Earth thousands and thousands of years ago. A scientist who studies glaciers is called a glaciologist, and they have given the names to all the different types of glaciers. And here are a few of the main types that glaciologists have named. Calving, a cirque, hanging, ice cap, ice field, Piedmont, polar, temperate, and valley glaciers. Hey, guess what? The world's largest glacier is the Lambert Fisher Glacier in Antarctica. It is approximately 250 miles long and 60 miles wide. Wow! And at over 125 miles long, the Bering Glacier in Alaska is the longest glacier in the United States of America. Believe it or not, even tiny glaciers are still the size of a football field. That's pretty big for something that's considered tiny. Mm -hmm. And did you know that even though most glaciers move very slow, the Kusha Glacier in Pakistan once moved more than seven miles in three months during 1953. <laughs> oh, you should have moved. <laughs> and did you know that if you look at a glacier's ice, it sometimes looks blue? And this is because glacial ice is so dense and compact, it can look bright blue. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about glaciers. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. Sure does. Make sure you subscribe.